Oh. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello everybody. So we're uh, we're gonna read you a little story. What's um, it called, Jay? This is uh, I've got the book, as you can see here. It's called Cats for Sale. Before we start, I'm gonna tell you a word in the book called peddler. If anyone doesn't know what a peddler means, a peddler's a guy. You know? What is it? Oh, A star. Nice. Yeah. Someone, she said it's someone who sells something. Bye, bye. So when I say peddler, he's a bye. guy who's trying to sell things. In this case, cats. Uh, once there was a peddler who sold cats, but he was not like any ordinary peddler, carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head, much like I am right now. First he had <laughs> his own checked cap, then a bunch of grey caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. Oh, I can't wait for this. Up and down the street, so that's it. holding himself very straight. I've got you. I've got you. My mic is down. One second. <laughs> <laughs> holding himself very straight, so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! Mid storm. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Thank you. One morning he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. It's a shame he didn't have yellow ones because everyone would have bought one. He began to feel very, very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly so as not to upset his caps. What a story. Oh, God. It's a long one. <laughs> he walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hands to feel if they were straight. First his own check cap, then the grey caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. <laughs> In case anyone's wondering, Nathan can't speak today, he's got a sore voice. Yeah, in case anyone's wondering, Nathan's got a sore voice, he can't read. The mic's not working. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Nathan's not very well, that's why he's silent. Oh. Back to the story. Okay. This is the best bit. When, when he woke up after his sleep, he was refreshed and rested. You killed it. <clears throat> oh, thank you. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. And he felt just his own checked cap. Curious. <laughs> you read it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> he looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked, he looked in back of him. No caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. <laughs> well, he's looked everywhere so far. But then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? No caps. Oh, you got it, you oh. bird. What who said what did you say? Cats. Louder. Let's have it louder. No birds! Oh birds. <laughs> oh. oh no, not birds. Not birds. It's a special tree. On every branch <laughs> sat a monkey. Ah. Whoa. Ah. On every monkey was a grey or a brown or a blue or a red cap. Ah, ah, see what's happening here. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. And what did he say, Siva? I'll tell you now. I can feel the suspense in the, in the square. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, 
<laughs> this made the peddler very angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, Ha 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 ha! Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you! You better give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped their feet again back at him and said, Ha 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 ha! Cheeky monkeys. Cheeky monkeys. Cheeky monkeys. monkeys. By this time, the peddler was very, very angry. And I'm reading the same page again. <laughs> <laughs> That's one to you. Excuse me. At last, he became so angry that he... <laughs> I'm terrible at this. At last, he became so angry... <laughs> I can't even read that. <laughs> Do you want me to read? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Max has very bad eyes. <laughs> really bad. I need glasses. I want your glasses. At last he became so angry that he took. <laughs> <laughs> no. At la stop making, you're making me laugh. At last he became so angry that he took off his own cap, threw it on the ground, groaned, and began to walk away. Ah. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap. <laughs> and all, he pulled off his cap. <laughs> he, they pulled off his cap, and all the grey caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps, came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them <laughs> back. <laughs> so the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the grey caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. You got it. Keep reading. <laughs> Keep reading. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to the town calling. Cups, cups for sale, 50 cents a cup. Then that, this. Me. You, you missed a bit. The end. Oh, there oh, we go. Hey! hey. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> I really hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You're a fantastic audience. We're not the best readers. I apologize. The sequel's much better. <laughs> well, you have a great day. I'll watch the Bye. Of the day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>